Welcome back to the Logistic Regression Part 2 lecture. In the previous lecture, we did exploratory data analysis on the Titanic dataset. We learned lots of things about the data. If you remember from the previous lecture, we have missing data. We need to deal with that missing data. We had a variable PCT, missing data, and if we run this again here, we have 19.9% missing data in age and 77.1% missing data in cable. Couple of values are missing in embarked column as well. The appropriate and convenient way to fix age column is by filling the missing data with mean or age value of all passengers in the column. We can do even better for the age column because we know that there are three passenger classes. It's even better to use the average age of each missing passenger for its own class. Let's move on and use box plot method to explore if there is any relationship in class and passenger age. We can call sns dot box plot pass in x equal to p class and y equal to age and our data is train and run this cell and here we have our box plot so we see that passenger class and age are somehow related the older the passenger is the higher the class he is traveling in so our hypothesis to fill the missing data in age column with respect to the passenger class is the better way to fill in missing data. Before writing the function for this purpose, we may want to know the average age of the passenger of each class. Recall your understanding on group by function here. Let's find the average age of passenger in each class first. We only need p class and age column now. Let's add few cells and grab p class and age column so train grab p class and age column call group by group by on p class because we want to get the average age based on the passenger class and then call mean function because this is going to return the mean. So we are grabbing P class and age column from our train data set, grouping the data based on the class and calling mean so that we can get the mean age for each class. Let's run this cell here. Now we have average age for each class. Let's write a custom function to fill in the missing data in age column. We will use if else condition statement in this function. So we are going to recall our understanding in Python essentials. So let's write the function here def impute h and we will pass h underscore p class and then we grab h from h underscore p class zero and then p class equal to h underscore p class one so we are passing h p class and grabbing h which is at index zero and p class which is at index one and now we have h and p class we need to apply condition so condition is we need to find out the null values in the age column. If pd dot is null age, so if the age is null, now we need to look for the class. If p class equal to 1, then return 38. We can grab only the first two numbers here so return 38 else if p class 
is to return 29 or 30 maybe and else return 25 this is impute let's revise this here defining a function with impute age as a name passing the age and class index 0 is age and index 1 is the class of passenger and then we are using pandas is null to check if the age is null if the value is null and passenger class is 1 we are putting 38 if the age is null and passenger class is 2 we are putting 30 and else we are putting 25 so what if age is not null we need to return age then so else outside from this block else return age so this is our function if the age is null this block will be executed if the age is not null the control will be shifted to this else statement and it will return the age so once again if the age is null we are using this if else condition to put the values in the missing values and if age is not null the control will be shifted from here to this else statement and we will get the age back let's run this cell so there's no error function is working properly let's apply this custom function to our data we need to grab the age column from our data and then train pass in age and p class because we need to pass in age and p class to this function and then we can call apply impute age function we need to pass in x is as well which is one if we press shift tab we see the default axis is zero but we have to apply on columns so we need to pass in one here let's run this cell and to check if the age column is fixed we can simply look at the heat map again let's go back and copy the code for heat map this one here and paste it here and rerun here we have a new heat map if you look at this thing age has no yellow line so the age column is fixed we got the mean values for each class in the age column at appropriate location what about the cabin column this is too much missing data like 77.1 percent data is missing so at the moment the best way is to drop this column however if you want to explore more you can check if you can get any information about the cabin of the passenger from the ticket number it is usually common that you have some hint in the ticket number for the cabin number at the moment we are going to drop this cabin column so let's move on and drop this column so add few cells here to make a space and train dot drop cabin we need to pass in axis if you press shift tab the axis is zero so we are dropping a column so we need to pass in axis one one more thing if you remember for permanent change you need to pass in in place equal to true let's run this cell so there's no error code is working copy this code for the heat map and reason here so now we don't have cabin column anymore so the only missing data is now the embarked column which is only 0.2 percent let's drop this data at the moment this is only 0.2 percent and will not have much effect on your results at the end we can call train dot drop na and pass in in place 
and let's copy the code for the heat map and paste it in the same cell and run this cell so here we have a clean single color heat map so we don't have missing data anymore now it's time to deal with the categorical features to apply machine learning algorithms we need to convert categorical features or variables into some indicator values for example in sex column for female and male we need to put 0 or 1 this is what we did in our previous linear regression model as well our model does not understand male or female but it does understand 0 and 1 now we will create a new column indicating the sex as 0 or 1 for female and male and this process is called creating dummies this is important because machine learning model is not going to take string variables as input to work with thanks to pandas creating dummies is not difficult anymore pandas makes this process very easy for us we can use pandas built-in function pandas dot get underscore dummies and that will convert categorical variables into dummies or indicator variables let's pass the sex column and see how it works so sex equal to pd dot get underscore dummies and pass in train and sex column let's run this cell here and see how the sex looks like now and here we have two columns female and male with zeros and ones Another thing you notice, we get the data frame for every single category with 0 and 1. Do you think it is required here? In this case, one column is a perfect indicator for the other. For example, if female is 0, then male is 1. This is obvious. So the one column is a perfect indicator for another one as well. This means if we input both columns to our machine learning algorithm, our algorithm will immediately know that if it's zero for female, then it can perfectly predict it's going to be one for male. This is known as multicollinearity and will mess up with our machine learning algorithm because some columns will be the perfect indicator for the other columns. To avoid this multicollinearity issue, we need to set drop underscore first equal to true in the get dummies method. It is false by default. Let's press shift tab here and this is drop underscore first which is false by default. Let's copy this one and paste it here and then set is to true. And now if we rerun this cell and check the head of sex again here we have only one column and this is what we need for the machine learning algorithm let's do the similar process for embarked as well we have three ports of embarkation we will get two columns and those two will be the perfect indicator for the third column so let's add few cells and embark equal to pd dot get dummies pass in the embarked column and then set drop first equal to true let's check embark dot head let's run this cell and here we have q and s so if q and s both are zeros it's obvious that the third port which is c is going to be the port of embarkation so if q is 0 and s is 0 the machine learning algorithm can predict c is 1 because at one time a passenger can use only one port so q s or c only one can be one at a time now we have dummies in sex and embark 
for our categorical variables. Let's use concatenation method to add these to our train data. So train equal to pd dot concat pass in list of our data frames train sex and embark and then we need to pass in axis as well remember it is zero by default and we need to set it to one and let's run this cell there is no error it's working properly let's check the head of our data frame again train dot head and here we have we have male q and s these three new columns that we have created using get dummies function from pandas now we need to drop some columns here because q and s is replacement to another column male is also replacement to another column we don't need sex and embarked column anymore. We are not going to use ticket column as well, so we will drop the ticket column as well. Name is also a column that we are not going to use in our machine learning project. So let's go ahead and drop sex, embarked, name, and ticket columns. So this is easy to do. Let's add few cells again and train call drop on train data set and pass in the list of columns that we want to drop we want to drop sex because we have a male column here for sex embarked and then we don't need name and then ticket we are dropping columns we need to pass in axis as well. Once again, remember default value is zero. We want permanent change in place equal to true. Let's run this cell. There's no error, it's working properly. Check the head of our data frame. Always good to see the data frame after any change. And here we have our data frame. Another thing we notice here, this passenger ID, one, two, three, four, five. This is essentially just an index that starts at one. It is a numerical column, but not very useful for us to predict whether the passenger survived or not. We can drop this column as well. So let's drop this column as well. We can copy the code here and instead of list of columns just pass in passenger id column so once again we are passing axis is one and in place true let's run this cell it's working properly no error and check the head of our data set and here we have our data frame survived p class age sib sp parent children fair male q s and so on so our data is ready for machine learning algorithm now so far we did the following steps we fixed the missing data issue we created dummies for categorical variables and then dealt with multicollinearity issue and dropped the columns we didn't need we have cleaned the data and it is ready for machine learning algorithm now Let's move on and build our first logistic regression model. The steps are similar to the linear regression model. We need to separate features and target values in X and Y. Then we need to split the data in train and test sets. Then we need to create an instance. Then we will train the model, do the predictions, and we'll do some data visualization. I'm going to split at this stage because this is getting long. We will continue in the next part and start working with our machine learning model. See you in the next lecture. Good luck.